Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another exciting episode. So today, this is a special episode because I finally, finally have my YouTube studio up and running. It's not 100% complete. I would say it's probably about 90% complete, but it's good enough where I can actually show you a video. And today, I actually want to take you on a little tour of my little YouTube studio and just show you exactly what is all involved because before it looked like this as you can tell the lighting is bad the picture quality is bad the sound probably is really bad it echoes around and this is what i've been doing the past four years when i will show you some of my unboxings and reviews and fishing reports or anything that involved fishing if you saw me do it with this type of environment once again where it's bad lighting bad sound, the picture quality looks just really like crap. So I thought to myself, what can I do to make my videos more visually appealing, more entertaining for you guys out there that spend the time on my channel watching these videos. So anyways, you're here, you clicked on a video because you want to take a tour of this office and exactly what I've done to this little YouTube studio. So let's get right into it. So the first thing I want to talk about is the desk. This is the heart and soul of this whole setup right here. All right, so as you see, we got everything all set up. Let's go and turn off the lights here. And we're gonna walk and turn on the room light. And here she is, ladies and gentlemen, in the flesh with no lighting, no effects. It looks pretty plain Jane, right? It's just amazing what some lighting and camera equipment can do. But anyways, you're here and you wanna talk about the desk right here. So this desk is actually made by Husky. Yeah, the same people, Home Depot, that sells hardware and tools. They have a really ni nice desk for sale and I really, really love it. So what's so really cool about this desk, and this is a real hardwood desk made to do some like bench work, woodwork, metal work. It's pretty heavy duty and it has wheels on both ends. I chose a 62 inch model, so it gives me enough clearance, enough room to put boxes, computers, recording equipment, whatever I need, and I have extra space. It doesn't show on camera. It's actually adjustable. So I can actually make it go up or I can make it go down, whatever I need. You know, honestly, I've never tried. I don't know how high it goes up because I've actually never really needed it to go high. Let's see exactly. Man, look how high this desk is. I'm actually standing up and this thing comes up pretty much almost to the middle of my chest area, right above my belly. Um, so yeah, you can actually stand up, do some filming if I need to, maybe film while I'm standing. I didn't even know this gets this high, so that's actually a surprise to me. Pretty cool, man. It's like 250 bucks. All the direct links of every single thing that I use for this YouTube studio is in the link in the description box below. Okay, we talked about the desk. The desk, it's a kick-ass system. I highly recommend it, but the second thought is how the heck am I filming? What mount am I using to hold this camera up that you guys are watching me talk? And how am I setting up my mics? I mean, all that good stuff. So let me show you exactly. All right, here we go. There she is, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this. This is my stand that I use to connect to my desk. And it's all inclusive, all in one. My camera mounts right here. I have my boom mic right there. I have a teleprompter that holds a laptop. Pretty, well, kind of, that's not really a teleprompter, but laptop holder right there where I have all my notes. I mean, this thing is all inclusive. Let me show you, it bolts right, or it doesn't bolt rather, it screws right into the desk. As you can see right here. Really tight, really sturdy. It's made of aluminum, metal pieces. Well, I mean, there's some plastic to it, but majority of it's metal. I mean, this thing is kick-ass and I absolutely love it. I love it, man. I mean, I can't think of another system to use on this desk and that's why I got this desk to accommodate something heavy duty like this with this real wood. I mean, it just really plants it right there. Really cool. Like I said, if you guys are interested in something like this, the link in the description box below. All right, we talked about desk, we talked about the camera mount itself. Now let's actually talk about the cameras. The camera that you actually see this video recording as is, is my Sony a7S III. It's their high top of the line 
video camera, well, I wouldn't say top of the line, but it's pretty much up there. And it's specially designed for video makers, video creators like me, any other YouTuber you see out there. When you see a YouTuber with picture quality, like high quality, high resolution, great color type of video, you can pretty much bet they're using the A7S III. And that's what I have here. And I color grade, post-production, and all that good stuff. But anyways, this is the other camera that I love and I use. This right here is a Sony A7 III. Now, this is the older model. I've had this model for three and a half years, three years, almost three and a half years. And it's, it's a really good camera too. If you're looking to start off as a YouTuber and you want to invest some money in a pretty decent camera, you know, look no further than the A7 III. It's not the A7S III because it doesn't have all the features like 4K, 120p, some other features I'm forgetting, but it's still a great camera even today standard. And I have a bunch of lenses. I do have a telephoto, I have a 24 millimeter one point, what is this, 1.4 aperture. What you're seeing is a G, well, this is a G Master. What you're seeing being filmed is a G Master 16 by 35 by Sony. I also have a macro lens, that's G Master. I have a lot of lenses. And yes, all this does add up in price. However, it's totally worth it when I am seeing you guys really enjoy the videos, especially the B-roll in nature. And when you see me doing reviews, unboxing, you see a good picture quality with a great environment. And to me, honestly, that's well worth it. We talked about cameras, the two cameras I use to do these vlogs and reviews and unboxings. Let's just talk about the background that you actually see. What do I have hung up? Like my shelving and all that good stuff. So let's take this off right here. All right, so let's go and start. So here's a desk. Let's go and start on the wall right here. What this blue thing is, what you guys see, actually, you know what, let me turn the light on. Okay, much better. What you see here on this blue little padding, that's on the wall. This is soundproof material. I don't, I'm don't. i not sure if it's foam or styrofoam, but it's pretty good. I bought it from Amazon, like I said. Everything that you see on this video is linked in the description box below. I have it right here to give it a better sound system for my mic that we're gonna talk about in just a minute. And as you see right over there, there's some more soundproofing on the wall. So when my voice you know, protrudes, it doesn't bounce back and give you that echoey sound or reduces the echoey sound. I have some here. I think I want to put some more on the ceiling when time comes. And right here, I do want to put some on the wall, but I haven't decided what to do yet. But, you know, we'll get there when we get there. Moving on, I have a little artwork by my boy Ike. You guys saw the video. If you haven't, check it out. It's right there. And right here, I have a little Ikea bookshelf here that I've used and, you know, I found around the house. I actually didn't buy this. I actually had this, or well, my wife had this for a while. So I decided this will look really cool in the YouTube studio. So here it is. I have a little fake plant right here. A uh, little nice pop in the picture, I guess, per se. Here's an old school vintage light that I bought for 13 bucks on Amazon. A little spherical, I don't know, metal design looking thing. I don't even know what that is, but that was my wife's. I had to fill up the third shelf, but you don't really see this on the video, so it doesn't really matter. Moving on to the other shelf that you see in the background. Let's start off with the LED lights right here. This is an LED light that I've, I'm really loving. I bought from Amazon itself. I just kind of zip tied it to the, the post here on the back. I can change the lighting. That's what's cool about this. It connects with my phone through an app. Let me show you some different colors that I can change. It just sets a different mood. It just makes the office look a little different every single time. Here's the app. It's right on my phone. So right now I have it on blue. This is one of my custom colors. Let's go and change it to one of my other customers. Let's change it to green, just like that. It's green. Now we're going to change it to like yellow gold. Boom, yellow gold. What about lavender? Boom, lavender right there. And you know what's so crazy is I should actually change any different color I want per the wheel. If I just spin my finger around, it just keeps on changing. So that's really cool. So there's red right there. You know, let's turn up the brightness. This right now is right at 40, 39%. We'll change it all the way to 100. Look how bright that is. It just really projects on the wall really nicely. Let me turn it down to 30, 40% right there. And man, I'm telling you what, lighting makes so much of a difference. With that in mind, that's my background light. Let me show you my main key lights. So this is my main key light right here. This is a cheap Amazon made, made by Mount Dog. This right here shines directly when I'm sitting in this chair at my face is probably maybe about two feet away from me. And it's a cheap light. It's not one of those more expensive ones. 
I will probably invest with them, but for like, I think 60 bucks, you get two of them, one. Here's the other one, two. I normally turn this one off unless I really need it to, you know, change up the mood. But as you saw, like my intro, all I had was this light on right here with my back lights. And that's just what gave it that cool, dramatic mood that you saw in the beginning. But I have this on. Once again, I really don't need it, but it's cool to get two for like 60, 70 bucks. And here's my mic system. This is the Sennheiser MKE 600, which I also got from Amazon. This is a hell of a shotgun mic. I did a lot of research before pulling the trigger on this, and it's not a cheap mic. It's pricey, but it's not as pricey as some of the other mics on the market, and it has really good sound. You guys enjoy the sound in the beginning of the intro. This is all from this own mic. I'm once again, shotgun mic. It's been out on the market for a while, and it's connected to this boom arm, which is connected to this camera mount. This desk mount comes all in one piece. It's an XLR connection right here, and it's phantom, meaning it's being powered by, I can use a battery, which I put one AA battery in here, or I have my recorder right here, which is a Zoom H5, a great, great recorder that records in WAV files, really clear sound, and I have it connected, powered to my mic here. And once in post-production, I take the recording from this recorder right here, and I sync it up with my video, and that's how I get really clear, good sound, man. Really love this mic. Right, so there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That's a little tour of my 90% completed YouTube studio. And what's so cool about this studio is actually it's very expandable. Once again, if I wanna change the moves, I can change the lighting, I can add some more stuff on the shelving. I am gonna get a picture, a really cool picture on the wall. I don't know what type of picture I'm gonna get, but you guys let me know in the description box below. I was thinking something like redfish, speckled trout, something that's hand painted on a canvas. I do want something really nice. But if you guys are watching this and you're an artist and you do have some cool stuff, send me a direct link on Instagram. Let's work together. But yeah, guys, YouTube studio, let me know what you think in the description box below. Do you like these type of videos where I'm showing more of my personal life and some of the back back information or background stuff or behind the scenes stuff that goes on with me and my channel. Let me know in the description box below. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Once again, all the direct links is in the description box below for a majority of everything that you saw in this YouTube studio. But yeah, I love every single one of you guys. I'm doing this because I love you. So thank you so much and I'll catch you guys on the next one.